everybody, welcome. I'm gonna show you how I make my almost kinda sorta pizza margarita. Can't say it's authentic style because you can't make a plant-based no oils pizza margarita, especially in, uh, in Italy because they have laws, organizations, rules, regulations on what can be called a pizza margarita and this is not going to meet their criteria ever. However, I guarantee it's going to be good and it's going to uh, remind you of a good pizza margarita. So let's get started. Uh, you have preheated your oven as hot as you can get it. I like a nice hot oven. Hey, the uh, pizza ovens get up to 800 degrees inside that they cook the pizza margarita in. And uh, unless you have a wood burning stove, you're just going to have to settle for the highest setting you can get on your toaster oven or your big oven. First thing we're going to do, we're going to make our plant-based quote-unquote cheese. Juice of half a lemon. I put about one-third of a brick of silken tofu. I'm going to say that's about maybe four ounces of silken tofu. Two tablespoons of miso paste. That's going to add some sodium in it. Something to do with the fermented soy and miso paste. Uh, it, it helps mitigate some of the effects of sodium, the negative effects on sodium on those of us who have had blood pressure issues. Tablespoon and a half of tapioca starch. That's going to help thicken it up. Now here's our quote unquote uh, plant-based cheese, as we call it, nutritional yeast. I'd say about maybe a third to a half a cup. Play with it. Four big fat cloves of garlic, or Italian breath freshener as I call it. Another thing that's going to help thicken this up, I'm putting in four nice pinches of xanthan gum. Check the link down below, I'll show you where to get some of these specialty ingredients. And about a half a cup of soy milk. What I do is I blitz it up in my Nutribullet blender, check the consistency. If it's too thin, I add more nutritional yeast. If it's too thick, I add more liquid. If you don't have soy milk and you got some veggie stock hanging around, use that. Any plant-based milk, any liquid will do. Okay, so this is a little bit thin. What I'm going to do is add a little bit more nutritional yeast. Now, of course, you got to give it a taste, see if it's any good. All right, yep, there we go. It's all good. A little bit more nutritional yeast. Blitz that bad boy up. Hey, take a look at that. Nice and thick. All right, set that aside. Now let's get started on our dough. We're not gonna do a traditional pizza margarita dough because number one, we're using a whole wheat flour and pizza margarita uses a white processed flour, a bread flour almost. So we're gonna start with our yeast and just a little bit of jaggery. That's uh, dried sugar cane juice. That's gonna help feed the yeast. Add you some warm water to it. Let it start to bloom up a little bit. Go about the kitchen for a couple of minutes and let that get going. Come back, stir it up a little bit more. Let's go ahead and add our flour. Okay, I'm putting a cup and a third a flour. This is going to make one nice pizza. If you're hungry and you just want to have pizza, it'll serve one. If you want to have a great big salad with it, hey, you can serve three people with this here and uh, put a big smile on their face and some pizza sauce on their lips. Okay, I'm doing a no need version. Of course, you want to mix it all together and incorporate it. Add just a little bit of water. You don't want to add everything at, all at once. Just Mix it up, mix it up. If it needs a little bit more liquid to come together, go ahead and do that here. As you can see, it's pretty much together. I can tell it's still just a little bit damp, so I'm gonna add a little bit more flour to it. Give everything a nice mix there. All right, now let's set this aside for a few minutes while we get everything else together. Okay, let's get started on the sauce. I love canned tomatoes. Hey, that is one thing that we're doing that's authentic to the pizza margarita. We're using good Italian San Marzano tomatoes. They're whole peeled tomatoes and ain't nothing like getting your hands in there and crushing it up. Now, if you like a little bit more of a thinner sauce, all you gotta do is crush it up. If you wanna add some spices, go ahead. You can go ahead and give it a nice little strain here and strain some of the liquid off. See, look. you can take a look as to how much liquid I strained off there. Okay, I said this is an almost kinda sorta pizza margarita. I'm gonna add some things to the sauce for my liking. Fresh ground black pepper, that's not authentic. 
a little bit of thyme. That's not authentic. And some oregano. That's not authentic. But that gives, gives it a pizza flavor that I like and I enjoy. And of course, some crushed red pepper. If you want more of the traditional pizza margarita, maybe just a little salt. I don't go for the salt. Just go with the tomatoes and put some uh, fresh basil leaves in it and you're good to go. Okay, so our dough has risen a little bit. Traditional pizza margarita, you let the dough rise twice. We're, we're just letting it rise just a little bit here while we're getting things together. This is an instant yeast that I'm using and hey, it works fine for me. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to push this blob into the shape of a pizza. What I do is I press just in the middle and you want to basically pretend like you're pushing the air from the center out. Get a good start. Let's flour our work surface. Put a little bit of flour on top of the dough. You're going to use flour to keep it from sticking to your hands. As you can see, I'm not getting pizza dough sticking all to my hands. I thank the flour for that. Keep pushing it out, pushing it out. You can pick it up a little bit and give it a little bit of a stretch. Make sure it's not sticking. At this point here, I went ahead, I'm just going to go ahead and throw it on top of parchment paper. Now, if you have a good hot pizza stone and a pizza peel, you can use that. Work that dough, baby. Work it till you get it the way you like it. And yep, uh-huh. Let's go ahead and put some sauce on it. Now, traditional pizza margarita, they don't put a lot of sauce on it. Just a little bit of sauce. I like mine nice and chunky with a lot of sauce. Make it how you like it. It's your pizza, right, boys and girls? Now it's time for the plant-based quote-unquote cheese. You can put a little, you can put a lot. Now this here is going to thicken up once the uh, once it uh, cooks in the oven. The tapioca starch is going to make it nice and thick. I cook it for 10 minutes on a 550 degree oven and it looks something like this here. The last minute I turn on the broiler and watch it like a hawk because it can go from perfect to burned in just a second. And the, hey, your smoke detector will probably tell you when you take it out of the oven too. Not authentic, but hey, this is what I like to put on my pizza. A little bit of balsamic vinegar. Oh, that gives it such a good taste. And there you go, boys and girls. Yeah, take a look at that pizza margarita. Yeah, that's a hell of a lot of basil, but you see, I grow my own basil, so I, ain't, I don't have to worry about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Hey, there's more coming. Y'all come back now, you hear?